This goes out to the Buckeye State and all other citizens in these United States of America. After working uh, for the better part of 30 years or over 30 years, you have to start looking at the uh, end game and you have to be thankful for all the things that have happened in your life. All the memories that you've gathered from all the relationships you ever had and every job you ever worked. And I think that the lesson that I learned the most uh, had to have come from BP, one of my first long tenured jobs. I worked there from 92 to 98, six years, and learned more, I think, than I did with any other company because I was young. I hadn't had any experiences hardly. And I got to really get out in, in inside of life and to uh, sort of observe it with some great uh, philosophers, really. Uh, I can remember the conversations that I had with just about everybody. Uh, the more depth there was to it, the more I remember. Uh, if I had deep feelings, uh, a family type of love feeling, then it seemed like that was the ones who taught me the most that I felt that way about. Uh, liberty. Liberty is what uh, I believe our country needs to focus on. <clears throat> the statue, the gratitude, uh, the allowances of people uh, to come to these shores. Uh, when it was populated by the indigenous, uh, by the Indians, and the way that they treated us. Uh, I say us, I've got both sides of me. Uh, but the way that they allowed us to have Thanksgiving dinner, the way that uh, Pocahontas, Sacagawea, and others welcomed Lewis and Clark, even traveled with them as guides to help them. Uh, as they tried to create a new society uh, before really learning about the society that they were in, which is uh, really best described in a movie called Dancing with Wolves. And I think that Kevin Costner's character uh, delivered a message in that movie. Uh, that was of profound importance to children, which is uh, be patient, give things time. As you learn more, you'll make better decisions. And as we all know, Kevin Costner's uh, tribe became the indigenous tribe to where he was when he tried to escape the chaos that is government. They got along well until the government got there and imposed their will, uh, which led to uh, the destruction of the entire Native American nation. Sadly, uh, seldom talked about in classrooms, the importance of the beginning of the United States of America. Together, we will grow more than we ever will apart. And the most important ingredient to that is communication, followed with honesty, building trust, understanding our goals, and then planning the achievement of them with the people that we surround ourselves with. You can apply that in sports. You can apply that in social circles. You can apply it in school. And you can apply it in life. The differences between you and the person that you're associating with are what defines you. Because you learn from the differences why that person's different and why you're unique. And it's because you took what they had that you didn't understand 
and put it inside your own spirit, making you grow uh, by putting these new tools or traits in your toolbox into a more well-rounded person. And you should be thankful. And the more differences there are, the more welcoming you should be. But you should always remember, educated people don't fight. Educated people don't argue. Educated people debate and discuss. And then work together for solutions to the problem. And once you understand that, you're an adult. You have overcome the adolescence. Uh, you have overcome the hormones, the imbalance in your life. When you realize that there is no one who wins a war, there's no one who wins a fight. Because the best solution is one that brings peace to the earth. And that's what Jesus Christ tried to do, is to bring peace. He didn't sit back and critique any peoples. All he did was try to explain to people the hypocrisy that had become religion. And here we are again, as we'll see from a post that I put up after this. And it's what happens when you have uneducated people become your leaders. There are schools and colleges out there where you can go study religion. Uh, to be an administrator of anything, you should have a degree in administration of that specific trade or trait. You cannot blindly trust people to become philosophers or you'll end up drinking the Kool-Aid like Jim Jones gave you. You'll end up up in the mountains waiting on a spaceship to come, finding out that your family's broke and this man's wasted your time. Finally, always remember that inner peace is what we're after. We want to die with no stress in our life. And it's not the moment that defines us. It's the memories of all the moments before we die, collectively. Uh, I had an incident once where there was an argument that took place uh, between one of my wives and her father. And he had an untimely departure from this earth. And I cried with her about it, and it bothered her for a number of years. It may still bother her today. And I tried to explain to her. It's all the laughter that was shared. It's all the joy that was found uh, in having a child that was unique. A child that he could enjoy in his retirement. A child that he didn't have to spend his day working and then come home and catch the tail end of, like a lot of workers do. Uh, he loved his little girl. She was his retirement project. She's what kept his mind occupied and kept a smile on his face. And she defined his life. Uh, we can never get too hung up on moments or arguments because it's the overall relationship uh, that when you look back, after you're done being mad and all that, you sort of smile a little bit, maybe to yourself, as you reflect on the blessings that you've had in your life. There's no human being in the world that can love someone so intensely as to marry them and become parents with them and then turn around and hate them. You've got what I call misguided emotion because hate and love are like yin and yang. Uh, they can be mistaken uh, if you're not presenting that feeling correctly. So don't be deceitful. If you love someone, tell them. Uh, and if you don't, then just walk away from them. Don't try to destroy their life.